As Channing Tatum would like to say, this movie is gonna be Goodfellas in New Orleans. The movie that was postponed, delayed, cancelled and returned will finally see its light on the big screens. I can agree that this is one of the most intriguing unmade comic book movie projects, but it seems like the circumstances have changed. So stay with me until the end as I have some really interesting news to share with you. Now let's kick off with a short origin story. Before the actual MCU became a thing, Fox's X-Men movies were the MCU. The X-Men Cinematic Universe was definitely the most successful hero group franchise. Fox had some ambitious plans back then, with spin-off movies for individual X-Men characters for their own X-Men Cinematic Universe to become even better, if that's even possible. One of these proposed spin-offs was to be focused on Gambit, and Channing Tatum was attached to play Remy Etienne Lebeau for a long time, the mutant that makes objects explode by manipulating kinetic energy. Before shooting even began, the spin-off was proposed and cancelled, but with different directors being attached to the project, Channing Tatum was pinned for the lead role. But I'll get back to that a bit later. Now about Gambit, the child who would one day become Remy LeBou, was abandoned at birth due to his burning red eye. Members of the New Orleans Thieves' Gil kidnapped him and referred to the child as Le Diable Blanc, which means the White Devil. The only belief about Rami was that he's the child that had been prophesied to unify the warring guilds. Soon after Rami took a slightly different way, he was left in a cage with some street thieves who taught him the ways of thievery. Rami attempted to pick the pocket of Jean-Luc Lebeau when he was around 10 years old, then patriarch of the thieves' guild. Jean-Luc adopted him into his own family and took the boy off the streets. The Assassin's Guild, as part of a peace pact with the Thieves' Guild, arranged a marriage between Remy and the granddaughter of the head of the Assassin's Guild, Belladonna Boudreaux. Julian, on the other hand, who is Belladonna's brother, was against that marriage and challenged Remy to a deal. Remy had to kill Julian in self-defense, of course, but in an attempt to maintain the pact between the two guilds, he was excommunicated and banished from the New Orleans. As he plied his skills as a master thief, Remy wandered the world to charge objects with explosive energy. <sighs> Here's a deal. So you're gonna take me to this island where I can kill Chris. To speed up a little bit, after wandering around the world, he meets the powerless and DH Storm. So he decides to help her escape the Shadow King. Soon after, he rescued her from the orphan maker and nanny, helping her battle them. Storm, the young amnesiac Storm, decides to join Gambit and eventually bring him back to the X-Men. Once in this crew, Gambit helps new mutants, X-Factor, and X-Men battle the Genoshans. Yes, we all must admit, this is a character with an amazing background and definitely deserved a solo movie. So much back and forth and it was really exhausting. On one occasion, talking to the playlist, read Carolyn, hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No really, he said this movie was supposed to be Mute and Goodfellas. No, sorry. It's one of mine. <laughs> we made this world in New Orleans, which was a city of mutants that didn't care about saving the world. They went there so they could use their powers to party and hook up, and their hands could fry the grease at McDonald's and whatever else, and the hardest thing for them to do was to fall in love because they could read each other's minds. Or when they got into a fight, they could turn a table into a grenade and send their partner to the hospital or whatever. So it was all this kind of low-level mutant fights and disagreements, and we sit in this world of mafia almost kind of like a mutant goodfellas in New Orleans, said Caroline. Okay. This all sounds great, but at what stage is the movie now? The script was made and the actors were cast, however, we never got a release date. To this day, we still don't have it, but the rumors these days are getting louder and louder. And I'd like to focus on a few things here. First, Gambit will happen, when exactly, I can't tell you right now. And second, why was the movie cancelled in the first place? Let's put it this way. You know that all the MCU movies are real money factories? Well, it's not exactly like that. And once again, the prize is money. Remember the Fantastic Four? This movie was a real failure. With a $120 million budget, it grossed only $167 million. The time frame for its underperformance severely affected all the other movies on the list, so ever since it was released in 2015, people from MCU are more careful now. Gambit was laid multiple times throughout its time in pre-production, which was the first black mark on the prospect of the project. Okay, so strike one. Then we had a director's shuffle, Doug Lehman signed on and he took Wyatt's place. 
so the release date was pushed back once again, Strike 2, but eventually Lehman pulled out of production too, and in the end, under Gore Verbinski's direction, the movie didn't find much more success neither. Anyway, let's hope you'll hear the good news very soon. All is here. Gambit will be a romantic comedy in the style of Deadpool. Reed Carolyn had an idea to create an R-rated and centered on a rom-com style relationship for Remy LeBou, who he wanted to make a romantic comedy superhero movie. The thesis was, the only thing harder than saving the world is making a relationship work, said Carolyn. Even the actress Leah Sudo smashed that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, Leah Sudo described this project as a comedy. The script was really good, it had some funny bits in it, but they wanted to make more of a comedy, said the actress. She was supposed to play the Marvel character Belladonna Boudreau, a character created by Scott Lobdell and Jim Lee. Belladonna Boudreau, a childhood friend of Gambit aka Remy LeBou, comes from the Thieves and Assassins respectively, a rival gang in New Orleans. They'll cross paths with a variety of different Marvel villains, Belladonna using her telekinesis and Gambit using his ability to charge objects with explosive energy. After talking about the script, Seydu spent some time talking about the character itself. I feel that in America people have more imagination, I have been offered films very, very far from what I've done, and I'm like, oh, interesting. I love to feel that I can adapt myself, for me that's very exotic. Obviously, the lead character, Channing Tatum, had his own opinion as well. He has been striving to make this project with 20th Century Fox for a good while now. Gambit is really the only X-Man I've ever loved. I mean, I love them all. They're all great, but I guess just being from down south, my dad's from Louisiana, I'm from Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, I don't know, I just related to him, said Tatum. He signed up for this role back in May 2014. Yeah, it's been a while. One thing is for sure, Gambit won't be a traditional superhero movie, maybe more of a heist movie. Simon Kinberg is of the opinion that the X-Men movies are dramatic and almost operatic, while on the other hand, Deadpool is irreverent and hysterical. In a way, a dirty R-rated comedy. I like high stakes. Gambit will have its own different tone and flavor to it. It'll probably be more of like a sexy thriller or heist movie in a way. The iconic mutants are set to make their triumphant debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so let's hope we'll get some official information on the release date soon. After all, Gambit was originally announced in January 2014, so it's about time to get it on the screen now. Gambit is Disney's job now, so come on guys, make this right, make this for the fans, and what about you? What's your theory of the plot? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.